Your mama's in a bad way. I never thought the day would come, but uh, this morning I, I walked out on Palmer. What do you mean you you walked out on him? I mean my marriage is over. My my heart's in a million smithereens. I can't even hold it together in front of my little baby boy. Where's Peter? Um, listen, he's outside with, with Beatrice. I'm going to just check. Okay. What happened? Mama? He betrayed my trust. Another woman? Oh, no, much worse. He, he shattered my faith in the whole sacrament of marriage. For that matter, in the bond of love. You know, I can forgive a lot of things, Tad. I mean... I'm no Mother Teresa myself, but when you make a solemn oath to your other half, well, isn't that supposed to mean something? I don't know. What oath did he break? He swore to me from the depths of his soul. No more meddling with you and Dixie. And you believed him? That's like a shark swearing as a vegetarian. Yeah, well, there he was, just... Coaching Brian, getting him to work on Junior to beg his mama to bring back the good old days, you know, before you returned from the dead when Brian was still king of the roost. Well, it's typical Palmer behavior, but it hardly matters now. You gotta have a really mean heart and a twisted mind to tell a bold-faced lie to your soulmate. I mean, how can I live in a house with a, a man whose hate for my son is stronger than his love for me? Well, Mom, I'm sorry you got hurt. But at least you see him for the toad he really is. May not be cause to celebrate, but I, for one, am relieved. Oh, Dad. If you could ever just find it in your heart to... Forgive me, I would spend the rest of my days apologizing. Oh, no, come on, come on. You got enough on your plate right now without worrying about apologizing uh, to me. Well, I'll tell you, if I was half as good a spouse picker as I am a matchmaker, you and Dixie would... Well, you wouldn't have been up to your eyeballs in subterfuge all this yeah, time. Well, that's, that's not important, sure. okay? The important thing is that Palmer is out of the loop. Believe me, things are going to turn out a lot differently than even he guessed. Right now, I'm worried about you. You know what? I think Peter may have a future in the music business. Beatrice is humming and singing along, and he's humming with her. Beatrice, is that the live-in? Yeah. So there's Peter, you, and Beatrice. You snagged the cook? Oh, what do I want with a cook? I'm never going to eat another morsel of food as long as no, I live. No, that's not true, and you know it. Pretty soon you're going to be scarfing down those enchiladas, sleeping through the night, playing with Peter, and even partying <laughs> once in a while. Once you realize how much better you are without Palmer. Right now we got to make some serious plans, like where the hell you're going to live. Oh, honey, that's the easy part. I'll just stay right here with you.